due to the overwhelming response we got from our Facebook marketing campaign. I decided to make this short video explaining the working, the manufacturing and the price of our patented integrated heat pump system. So come grab a cup of coffee, relax and join me in the boardroom. Welcome to our boardroom. One of the first questions I got asked about our product is how does this technology work? Well, I think the easiest step is to explain to you what is currently available in the market. If you look at the schematic on my right here, this is a typical integrated heat pump systems. There are a few of these on the market, various makes and models of course, but they all have one common problem. And that is the way that the heat is being transferred into the water. Now to explain this in simple terms, if you look at this diagram here, you see there's a high pressure vessel inside this unit, which first of all is an explosion risk. So it works like any conventional hot water system or geyser as we call them which is fitted to an integrated heat pump system. Now the integration part is, you see the black head on top is where the heat pump section sits and the bottom half is where the actual tank cavity is. Now the way they heat this water is through the condenser coil which is wrapped around the inner tank like a piece of string. Now if I look at the bottom schematic here, there's an enlargement of that inner cavity. You can see the stainless steel tank, they use either stainless steel or mild steel tank and then they've got the copper coils wrapped around the tank. Now this is the heat section that produces hot water and it works as follows. These little red dots here is those copper pipes through which the hot gas flows. But the problem we have here is the heat has to find its way from a circular object through a flat surface which is the skin of the tank into the water cavity on the inside. And a lot of the, the heat radiates to the outside through the polyolefin insulation material to the outside atmosphere, making this not as efficient as we would like it to be. Now, how does that compare to our integrated system, which is a patented technology? I've got a small schematic on the right here. We also have a heat pump, which emits three kilowatts of heating to the water, and we have a tank at the bottom. But the difference is we make the tank from fiberglass, which is a food grade quality resin, and it's a low pressure vessel, so therefore we take away the explosion risk. We fill the tank with water at atmospheric pressure, it means that there's no, there's no pressure like you have with a conventional geyser, we're taking away the risk of explosion, and all the safety parameters like the TP valves and the pressure reducing valves. The heat pump itself is connected to the condenser coil, which is then placed inside the tank all the way to the bottom, which makes the radiating heat more efficient as it has a 360 degree area to transmit the energy into the water. Once this water cavity is up to 60 degrees, the heat pump will switch off. Now the first question is, but if you say this is a low pressure system, how do I get high pressure water in my bathroom in my house? Well, here's the secret of our technology. We have a stainless steel riffled coil, which looks like this. I've got one in my hand here. Inside this coil, is where the high pressure water will throw through that comes from the municipality side. Which means that the water will come in at say 17 degrees Celsius, it'll enter the tank through the heat exchange coil, go straight down to the bottom, and then makes its way back in a spiral motion to the top. As it exits the tank, it goes to 60 degrees Celsius. The way this works is that the energy that's stored in the tank transmits into the coil because the coil has got a riffled surface area, making the absorption surface area much larger. The other benefit of this is that lime scale has no effect on our tank. Because the lime will stay in suspense, the water that churns through the stainless steel coil is churned around violently and that creates a, a bigger exposure for, for the heat from the, from the tank to transfer into the coil. And also, lime scale will just stay in suspense, it will just flow through the coil to the outside, so it has no effect on the system. Moving over to the more conventional heat pump systems, we are familiar with the geyser, what we call a retrofitment. Now the problem here is, is that most geysers and houses are installed inside the roof cavity. So you have all these pipe work, which sometimes is not well insulated, that needs to be channeled and f mounted on the outside of the house where the heat pump gets, gets, gets uh, connected, and that causes a lot of heat loss. The other problem is that also, because the water flows through the tank on a regular basis as the heat pump kicks in through a little circulating pump, you get, a, you get movement within the tank that sometimes destroy, destroys the stratification lay, layers in the tank, making the product not as efficient as it's supposed to be. That's why we suggest we go for a centralized integrated heat pump system such as ours. I'm going to take you now to our factory to show you the actual manufacturing process of these units. 
Well, here we are inside our factory, and I'm just going to show you a few simple steps on the assembly line, which is the final assembly line in the manufacturing process. First of all, this is what the inner fiberglass tank looks like. It's been drawn off a complete mold as one piece, and then all the stainless steel fittings are being glued into the tank. We use only food grade quality resin. The benefit of a fiberglass tank is it is corrosive resistant, it doesn't rust, and it works very well for coastal environments. So this is the inner tank. Then we move over to this section here where the tank gets cladded with a UV stable ABS plastic, which not only makes it look pretty, but it's very functional. Because the cavity section between the outer skin and the inner skin gets filled with polyurethane foam, creating a very good insulation pocket. It's almost like creating a cooler box, but for hot water. The lid itself is also um, filled with polyurethane foam to create a, a nice airtight seal and also helps with the, with, the, with the insulation of the tank itself. You can see all the fittings has already been screwed in here. This is obviously the place where the element, the backup two kilowatt element gets mounted in there. And that's really just there as a fail safe. We don't want to leave our customers without hot water. The heat pump is the portion that generates the heat. Over here you can see the heat pump technology. I must stress that I only use the best and I handpick these components. We use Japanese made compressors, which last very long. Uh, the unit itself generates 3 kilowatts of heating into the tank, but it only consumes 750 watts of electricity. You can see the complete unit, and moving over to this section, once we put the hoodie on, which is also made from UV-stable ABS plastic, the reason we use plastic and it's UV-stable is we need to build something that's going to last and give you long longevity on the system and then and that will withstand all the elements can throw it because the system is really mounted outside in, in outdoors environment. Once we completed the unit, it gets encased with a brushed stainless steel finishing on the front and the controller gets mounted here. And this is also where you, from your smartphone, you can control your Wi-Fi application. Yes, you heard right, this is a remote controlled hot water system. It's never been seen before. Moving over to our test bench on this side. Then final stages is where we test all the equipment. So we rig up the system to a, a water system, all the electricity, all the parameters gets checked, all the temperature settings gets done, we push the tank all the way up to temperature and then we drain back all the water to our recycling plant here so that we don't waste any water or electricity. And we make sure that everything works 100% for customer satisfaction before it goes to the packaging bay for dispatch out to our distributors. So here we are at the dispatch area where the final checks has been done the units are being boxed and packaged and ready to go out to the distributors. Now, there's the final question. How much does the system cost? Now, let me iterate. The benefits of the system is as follows. Remember, half of your electricity bill for a normal domestic house goes just towards creating hot water for the family. We cut your electricity bill by between 60 and 70%. Now, if you do the numbers roughly, you'll be looking at around 500 and saving per month. A complete integrated unit like this will cost you 25,000 rands. But now what is the benefit you get for this? First of all, it uses 750 watts. Now remember, ESCOM's prices are increasing every day, every year, every month. We sit with load shedding issues. This is one of the only heat pump systems that you can actually run of a normal 5 kVA generator. So for those people that spend money on PV systems, you need to upgrade your hot water system before you decide to go with a PV system for your house to get off the grid. Secondly, like I said, lime scale has got zero effect on this tank. I know that areas up north uh, of Pretoria and some places in the mines, we have a lot of lime scale in your water. I know that geysers don't last. Sometimes they replace the elements as often as three times or four times sometimes in, in a year just to, to have hot water. Then, because it's a low pressure vessel, we've taken away all the risk of explosion. You don't need all the TP valves, all the pressure systems. It's a safe system to install in your house. And then with the Wi-Fi smart function, you operate the system with your cell phone. You can switch the system on and off. You can set timers and you can set the temperature. If you have a holiday residence, you can remotely switch the geezer on and off. And then we have the two kilowatt backup element. So it's really an all-in-one solution system. If anything should happen to the heat pump, we never leave our customers unattended. So please click sub subscribe at the bottom, like our page, and then all our information will be on the bottom of the screen. Our strategic alliance partners, ACDC, which are the electrical wholesalers, have got more, almost 100 outlets with their franchises nationwide. They are our distribution partner. So please go to your nearest ACDC store, order yours today while stocks last. When is the last time 
that you have bought a product that actually pays for itself, purely out of energy savings. Feel free to contact our distribution partner ACDC. They have branches nationwide and if you can't come right with them, feel free to contact us directly. Our information is on the bottom of the screen now.